Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add uh, another column uh, to your workboard in Jira. So let's say that we have four different columns to start with. We have ready in dev, ready for UAT, and done. And we want to add a QA step after in dev. It seems like this would be a super easy thing to do, but because Jira has so much configurability, um, it's actually a little more complicated than it seems. Um, the reason it's more complicated is because all of these columns are mapped to statuses in a workflow in Jira. And so we need to start with creating a new workflow. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is, is go up to um, the Jira administration. We're going to select issues. And I like to open this in a new window so that I still have access, uh, or I'm sorry, a new tab so that I still have access uh, to my board. We're going to go down to workflows. And I'm going to create a new workflow here, but I'm going to create it from the workflow that we're current, currently using. Um, we're currently using this updated dash six replay development workflow. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Let's just leave it that. And now you might be wondering why I didn't just edit the existing updated six replay development workflow. Um, and that's because we can't edit a workflow uh, that's currently active, that's being used. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of inconvenient, but we have to go ahead and create a, a whole other one. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is click on add status. Um, and let's just, uh, let's just call it QA. We'll keep it simple. Okay, and then I'm gonna uh, leave it in I'm going to put it in the in progress category because it, it'll be in progress. Um, I'm just going to check this off to make it easier on us. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to pull it down here. Um, and then I already have, let's see, a status going from in dev uh, to ready for UAT. Um, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to, uh, you could just drag and drop. I'm going to put that in dev to QA, um, and then I'm going to uh, add another transition, and the transition is going to go from QA to ready for UAT, and let's just call this ready for UAT, or let's just call this QA, QA is done. Okay. Okay, and I'm not going to worry about you know the statuses uh, being able to, to to go back and forth here like I've done in, in the, the other workflow, but that's an important thing to consider. Um, you know, if if you do have cases where you'll be moving your tasks back and forth, um, so let's just add this. I think that's all that we need to do for now. Um, this annoying little box will pop up if you're zoom if you're zoomed in too much. Okay, so. Uh, this is done, we don't really need to do anything to actually save this. The next step is to add a workflow scheme, um, and, uh, and that's easy enough. Um, let's not do that, actually. Let's just copy. Once again, we're just going to copy this updated six replay dev workflow scheme. And it's going to be down here in the inactive uh, section. And this is it here. And let's go ahead and edit it, um, because what we need to do is we need to associate the workflow that we just created with this scheme. Um, and we need to add it here. We're going to go add existing. And the one that we just created should be shown here. And it is copy of updated. We have a lot of them. I think it's this copy of updated six replay dev workflow. OK, we can see our little QA there. OK, next. Um, and uh, essentially, you can assign different issue types. Uh, all or none, um, or one by one to different uh, workflow schemes and workflows. I'm just going to assign all um, because I want to be able to have all issue types in that workflow. Um, and so now we have, um, uh, if we go back to our workflows, we have this, uh, we have this, uh, this new updated workflow scheme associated with our, our new workflow. Um, 
And uh, the next step after that is to associate it with the project. So if you click on projects, you have to go in and select the project that you're working on. And right here it says workflows. And you can see that it's currently associated with, uh, with this scheme, right? So um, if we just click that, then we can say switch scheme. And we're going to do a copy of updated six workflow scheme. We're going to associate. And I'm going to pause the video while it does that. OK, it's done. And it's asking me to acknowledge that. So I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge. Um, and now our new workflow and workflow scheme is associated with this project. Um, and so now what we do is we go back to our Agile board uh, and we go configure. And then from the configuration menu on the left here, from the navigation, we're going to select columns. And you can see that all of your columns are listed here. Um, we can add a column. And I'm going to call it QA. And notice it always puts it in right before the last column, which is kind of handy for us. Um, actually, we have to move it over one. But you can just drag and drop it to wherever you need it. Now, we're still not quite done. We have to map one of our statuses to that column. Otherwise, issues won't, uh, won't be able to put into it. We won't be able to put issues into it. And it won't be shown on our board. Um, so this is the status that we created. So we're just going to grab it. We're going to move it over there. It shows no issues being in that status right now. That's fine. Um, that doesn't really matter. Um, in another video, I'll talk uh, more about swim lanes and how to use those with components. But for now, um, that is uh, that is pretty much all that we need to do. So I'm going to go back to my replay development board, and uh, you can see right here we have uh, we have a new column, and I could move stuff over there if I wanted to. I'll move that back. Oh, so notice I can't move it back because I didn't add that uh, when I was doing the workflow mapping. I didn't add the ability to move the, the, the statuses back. So uh, once again, consider that when you do your workflows. Um, I'll have to go in and add that to mine. Hope this was helpful. I get this question a lot um, from members of our team. So uh, yeah, I hope this solves your issues. Uh, let me know if there's any other videos that I could do for you. Thanks.